when I was growing up and the internet was new, there was a lot of talk about how the World Wide Web was going to bring the world together and make everything smaller and more intimate than it could ever possibly be. And when we were growing up, we kind of laughed at that a lot. The potential of the internet was, of course, huge, but the idea that it was going to make a large world small seemed doubtful at best. But the older I get, the more true it seems, especially when I look back on my past. Back in those early days of the internet, communities were weird and disjointed. What the internet was and how it was used seemed to change every day, every week, all the time. And we would stumble across different fan communities and different groups and different forums and meet new people and interact with other kids who were just goofing around and being silly. This meant stumbling across weird cartoons on Newgrounds or finding a new webcomic and enjoying it and just sharing it with friends. And when I was growing up, a lot of times I didn't realize that the people making these animations and webcomics were just kids like me. But I enjoyed them and I used to think, boy, I hope when I get a little older and a little more talented, like these people who I assumed were in college or, or beyond, that I could be like them one day. But at the time, I didn't realize that I already was. And today, as I go through YouTube and see up-and-coming YouTubers or, or long-established stars that I appreciate, or watch cartoons that I see on Cartoon Network or Disney Channel, I'm becoming more and more aware that the creators of these things I really enjoy were those kids that I used to admire, those other people on the internet, other nobodies like me at the time, who, who were just doing something they cared about and watching it blossom into something amazing. And this idea of people who were kids like me when the internet was young and were creating things I liked and then grew up to be creators of other things that I like as an adult now has just been on my mind a lot recently. And one of the reasons for that is because I've started watching a cartoon that's been out for a while now but I just I just didn't get around to watching. And that's Cartoon Network's OK KO Let's Be Heroes by Ian Jones Quarterly. Ian is best known today for his voice of Wallow in Bravest Warriors, and as the supervising director and co-developer of the Cartoon Network series Steven Universe. He also worked on Adventure Time, The Venture Brothers, and a bunch of other stuff. But I best know him for his old comics that he used to make back when we were both really young. The series RPG World, and also a lesser known autobiographical comic. And it's a little weird to throw back and remember these things, knowing who he grew up to. But because I remember watching those grow up, and because Ian and I are both pretty much the same age, when I watch a series like OKKO, OK it gives me a kind of weird feeling. Yeah, I'm watching this cartoon, which is funny and kind and imaginative, and I like it. But I'm also watching it thinking, this is Ian's work. And even though I don't know him, and we've never met, and we've never talked, it's a strange sensation of pride. I remember this guy's work when he was young, making a silly autobiographical comic and a silly adventure comic called RPG World about Final Fantasy VII-like characters going on a ridiculous quest. And knowing what he started as and that we were both young and seeing him work his way up from this kid making funny comics on the internet for strangers and turning into this creator working on these great shows makes me legitimately proud of a stranger. And that's weird, because it rings true to that old silly statement, a lot of those old 1990s, what is the internet, speculative pieces were going on about. It's helped make the world smaller. Ian is no longer this stranger to me, although he totally is a stranger, we don't know each other at all, that, that just lives in another part of the world, but I kind of think of him a little bit more as someone I, I knew from my old hometown because I knew him from similar corners of the internet. We didn't interact and I'm, you know, he wasn't really aware of me, but I knew he was out there and seeing him succeed makes me really happy for him. And that's just, well, it's, it's strange, isn't it? Ian's not the only person on the early days of the internet this has happened with either. There are other creators out there who I remember seeing their work out there on websites like Newgrounds and thinking, these guys are funny and I really like them and I bet they're older than me. 
but they weren't. They were the same age as me, just just struggling to be artistic in different ways. One of them grew up to be Ian, who makes uh, OKKO OK and works on other cartoon shows. Another person turned out to be Aaron Hansen, who created Game Grumps and did all sorts of incredible animations and funny music things he does now. And it's just so weird to think that the internet, this amorphous thing that is sometimes terrible and sometimes great, really has made the world smaller for some of us. And it's something I've been thinking about a lot recently. So if you're out there and you're looking at someone's art on Tumblr or someone's animations on YouTube and you think, someday that could be me, my lesson from watching these guys grow up and being proud of who they became is don't think I could be them one day because you could be them now. A lot of their success came from following their dreams early, before they had the experience, before they had the tools, and working hard to make their visions real. So don't wait until you're older to follow those dreams. Be like those guys. Be like the guys I looked up to, and start following your dreams now, because you never know what they're gonna turn into. You know, and that's all it. That's it, really. All I really wanted to talk about. I've just been thinking about that a lot recently. People who you might admire now might be just like you, even the same age of you, just on an, another part of the world. And they can inspire you now, and just take that inspiration and run with it. That's it for now. I just wanted to talk quickly about some guys on the internet that I like, and uh, their past work, and how cool it is that they've gotten to where they are today. Uh, it's been a bit of a slow month for some of my usual video content, but I'm hoping to ramp that up as usual. I'm always saying I'm going to do more. But either way, thanks for sticking with me and watching these silly videos, these quick off-the-cuff ones, and the more scripted ones. Either way, I'll talk to you all later, and take it easy, internet. You small small internet. That's also huge.